The T-14 Armada is one of the most advanced main battle tanks in the world, designed by Russia as part of its new generation armored platform. Developed by Ural the Gonzavod, the Armada program was first showcased to the public during the 2015 Victory Day Parade in Moscow, and it quickly became a centerpiece of modern armored warfare discussions. The T-14 is not just another tank, it represents a significant leap in tank design, integrating automation, digital control systems, and cutting-edge protection features. At its core, the T-14 Armada is built on the Armada Universal Combat Platform, which means it serves as the basis for not only the T-14 main battle tank but also other armored vehicles like the T-15 Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This modular approach allows the Russian military to streamline production and maintenance, using common systems across multiple vehicle types. One of the most distinctive and revolutionary aspects of the T-14 is its unmanned turret. Unlike traditional tanks where the crew sits inside the turret and operates the main gun directly, the Armada's turret is fully automated and remotely controlled. The three-man crew, commander, gunner, and driver, are seated in an armored capsule within the hull, isolated from ammunition storage and the turret itself. This design greatly improves crew survivability, since even if the turret is penetrated, the crew compartment remains protected. The main armament of the T-14 Armada is a 125mm 2A82-1M smoothbore gun. This advanced cannon is capable of firing a wide variety of ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds, high-explosive shells, and even guided missiles. Reports suggest that it can engage targets up to 8 kilometers away when using missile ammunition. The autoloader system allows the gun to fire up to 10 to 12 rounds per minute, while freeing up space by eliminating the need for a fourth crew member. The tank is also designed with the possibility of being upgraded in the future to a larger 152mm gun, which would make it one of the most powerful tank weapons ever fielded. Secondary armament includes a 12.7mm cord heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun, giving it versatile options for engaging both infantry and lightly armored targets. In terms of protection, the T-14 Armada incorporates multiple layers of defense. First, it uses next-generation Molochit explosive reactive armor, which can defeat modern anti-tank projectiles. On top of that, it features the Afghanid active protection system. Afghanid uses radar to detect incoming threats like anti-tank missiles or rocket-propelled grenades and can launch countermeasures to intercept them before impact. Some reports even suggest it has the capability to counter certain types of kinetic energy penetrators, which would make it one of the most advanced systems of its kind. The crew capsule itself is heavily armored, and the design philosophy focuses on keeping the crew safe even in the worst-case scenarios. The separation of fuel, ammunition, and crew in different compartments significantly reduces the risk of catastrophic explosions. Mobility is another strength of the T-14. It is powered by a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine, which provides a top speed of around 80 to 90 kilometers per hour on roads, with excellent cross-country performance. The suspension system is modernized to handle rough terrain, and the tank's weight, estimated at around 55 tons, is relatively light compared to Western counterparts like the American M1A2 Abrams or the German Leopard 2. This balance of protection and mobility makes it highly versatile in different combat environments. Another standout feature is the T-14's digital battlefield integration. The tank is equipped with advanced sensors, thermal imagers, and a radar system that allows it to track multiple targets simultaneously. Its networked combat management system enables it to share data with other units, essentially allowing the tank to operate as part of a larger, information-driven battlefield strategy. This places the Armada in line with modern concepts of network-centric warfare. From the outside, the T-14 looks futuristic with its angular design and radar-absorbing surfaces, intended to reduce its radar cross-section. It is not only a powerful combat vehicle but also a psychological statement of technological progress. However, the T-14 program has not been without challenges. Production numbers remain limited, largely due to cost and the complexity of the technology. Only a small number have reportedly entered active service, with others used primarily for testing and evaluation. Despite this, the T-14 remains a symbol of Russia's ambition to redefine the role of the main battle tank in modern warfare. In summary, the T-14 Armada combines an unmanned turret, a protected crew capsule, 
powerful armament, advanced armor systems, and networked digital capabilities into a single platform. It represents a shift away from traditional tank design and points toward the future of armored warfare. While questions remain about its large-scale deployment and long-term sustainability, there is no doubt that the T-14 has already secured its place in history as one of the most revolutionary tanks of the 21st century.